This is my third year third in administration. Year. Yes. And how long were you at Hebron? Um, a th close to two years. I was originally hired like in October, so close to two years. Um, there are so many, so many ways. Well, it is is so much bigger. Everything is bigger. Um, the number of students, the size of the students, the size of the building. Um, that's probably the biggest um, like shock for me. Um, is just everything is, um, you know, I'm still, somebody asked me the other day, you know, who is it that's out, you know, on the bus stop with you? I was like, that one guy and that other girl, I don't know names yet. I was like, I don't have a clue. Um, so just the number of people, the number of staff members, the number of students, everything's just bigger. Well, what was your first impressions on the first day of school? <laughs> um, I was overwhelmed, I'll be honest. Because um, like I said, everything was so much bigger and there were so many students. Um, and then the other thing was a bit of a culture shock coming from middle school to high school and seeing, um, you know, the number of people I wanted to say were out of dress code um, or to put their phones away <laughs> or to not cuss and, um, you know, leave room for the Holy Spirit, you know, as, you know, as far as the PDA goes. and. So there was a lot of that um, middle school mentality of I'm in charge and you walk on this side of the hallway and um, that I just, you know, was just kind of overwhelmed of, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Um, but every day gets a little bit better and a little bit better and I'm, you know, starting to get used to it, so. In process like you apply. To apply here? Yes. Um, it was gruesome because Mr. Mason took his sweet time making a decision. Um, because I interviewed and interviewed first with a group of students. Um, that was probably the um, most nerve-wracking going in, knowing that I was going to have to, you know, meet with some students. Um, but it was actually very, you know, it was enjoyable. It was like walking around, you know, the mall with my daughters or something, you know, just, it was, it was fine. Um, then I went to a formal interview. I also had a writing task, you know, um, performance task, I guess, that I had to do. Um, and then the waiting began. And it was over um, over a week before I heard anything. Um, I actually went out of town the next day to Philadelphia, and um, Mr. Mason ended up FaceTiming me and doing a second interview while I was in Philadelphia. Um, so we talked for about an hour on FaceTime again, and then he called me back in and said, I want to talk to you one third time, or another time. And I was like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, but then whenever I came in that third time, that's when he offered me the job, so. So what are your goals this year? Learn names, <laughs> first and foremost. Um, but I think overall, um, one of the things that I have picked up on so far is just kind of some it sounds bad, just some administrative, like, um, procedural type things. So from an administration side, that. Um, as far as the school side, it's more um, of that culture piece. Um, I don't know what it looks like yet fully among the students. You know, I'm looking forward to the football game this Friday and kind of seeing what that, what school spirit is. And um, But I think that there's still a whole lot of students in this building who don't take pride and ownership of the building and recognize themselves as being a Bullities Charger. They don't take ownership of that. And from what I can tell, you know, what the big push is, is that that needs to be a way of life. Um, so I think that's, you know, would be my main goal is to help, especially those kids that I see just sitting by themselves in the cafeteria, um, or just making decisions that really aren't part of the Charger way, um, really kind of hitting those and making them feel a part of something and a part of this school. So, Before you were selected as the new AP, mm -hmm. what did you think of when someone says Bullities High School? Um, you know, it's funny because previously, before being an administrator at Hebron, I taught at East Oldham. And so um, people always talked about things being better in the East. The sun rises in the East. And so I kind of had heard those same sort of things about Bullet East. Um, and so I'd heard what a great school it was. Um, Mr. Barger had really talked to me about that. You know, you will love it there. You would love it there. I really encourage you to apply. Um, 
but I'd heard just, you know, what a great school it was academically, athletically. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's what I'd heard. And so to get the opportunity to be a part of that, I mean, how could, why, why wouldn't you want to be?